I want to do a little uh, recap here. <clears throat> Talk a little bit about Apple. So Apple pretty much was a short from the beginning of the of the day. Um, you know, my bias was lean leaning a little bit more to the long side. A lot of the stocks that I had on watch list had pivots to the long side market decided to do something else. So the major, major takeaway that I want to um, kind of emphasize is that, you know, no matter what your bias is going into the day as a trader and as a scalper, you need to be able to quickly adapt. Um, you know, if you have a long bias and for example, today's stock started to uh, bleed out literally from, you know, the opening bell, um, you can't really sit there and think, well, you know, I think that the stocks are too oversold. We're due for a bounce uh, and then try to take calls against that thought process or against that theory, because all in all, it's still just a theory. Uh, you need to kind of let the technical analysis um, be your best friend. Um, at the end of the day, of course, as human beings, we can all have a theory and we can all have a thought process. But at you know, also, we also need to um, kind of just respect the price action and react to what's happening in front of us. I did take a little bit of a short position on Apple today. Contracts were extremely cheap. So, you know, I went very, very large with the contract number size. However, the dollar amount, you know, wasn't too far off than what I normally play, um, you know, anywhere from three to six thousand dollars a trade. Um with that being said, if we kind of just take a look here, here is the opening candle. We made a little push higher. And then five minutes after uh, the open, we got this first close below the 20. Now, this 200 day moving average is going to act as a little bit of support. So it's kind of uh, a good thing that you see how it stopped here at this 200. Because if we were to get this confirmation candle and take out the 200, you have to feel pretty strong getting into this short position here um, and then just kind of riding it all the way down. Now, obviously, respect your stop loss. Your stop loss is this declining 20 day moving average. If this uh, play was to sort of do something like this and then cross back over, then you would have to take your loss here on the cross over of the 20 and the 200. Um, but this is your reason why candle this is your confirmation candle uh, and then obviously you know your take profits i always recommend at least two to three pushes lower or higher depending on what side you're playing uh, in the direction after your entry candle so if this is your entry candle one two pushes would have put you down here and that price point would have been 168.50 and your entry price would have been somewhere around that 169.88 so this is still about a dollar and 25 cent move um, obviously if you took multiple contracts what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to scale out some here uh, and then your next push down you're going to want to scale out some here here's your little bit of a back test however we still have a nice gap between the 20 confident and holding this if we continue to slide you would have taken a little bit more here on this back test as long as we stay under the 20, you would hold your position. The next leg down, you would scale out here. Another back test. Scale out here. Okay. So I want to show you guys something very, very quickly. Look how well that once this lost the 20 and the 200, that this respected the 20 period moving average. Rejection here. Flush. Bounce. Rejection here. Flush trying to come up again if this is rejected you would also see a back test we do have previous support at 165.45 uh, definitely want to keep that in mind but you know the moral of the story is is that you know if you want to be successful and if you want to you know be consistent as a trader you are going to have to respect your strategy uh the 20 sma five minute strategy for scalping is my foundation and then i build around that uh, and what that means is you know high of day breaks i add to my position low of day breaks i would add to my position um, supply and demand consolidation any type of breach or break i would also take those plays but this is a is the foundation so if you can think about um you know 
trading is is uh you know put it into like uh construction work or you know building a house you know you obviously have to lay the concrete slab you have to make sure that the foundation is secure um and if you do not have a solid foundation then everything else can sort of crumble down on you so what that basically means is if you're constantly guessing uh you know telling yourself hey you know we're oversold we're due for a bounce let me let me buy some calls here hoping that it's going up you're going to get shredded if you're taking uh pre-market highs uh scalps and then you're taking pre-market low scalps and then you're taking high of day breaks and then you're you're bouncing uh around in a choppier market and you really don't have a go-to strategy then you're going to kind of see how that's going to kind of chop you up over the long run if you use the 20 play five minute scalping with no bias, meaning that if you're going to use this strategy, please do not have a bias. Um, in the Discord, you guys will see me bouncing around, you know, long, short. Uh, I'm putting in short calls. I'm putting in long calls. I'm saying, watch this short, you know, and then 15 minutes later, I'm saying, watch it long. That doesn't mean that, uh, you know, you know, from a, from an investor standpoint, you know, going long, going short, going long, going short can be a little bit of a headache. But if you are going to do this you know, for a long time, you are going to need to adapt, you are going to need to be able to, you know, get into a long position, uh, take profits, leave it at that, that is what it is. If you see it start to consolidate, you see price action starting to get weak, and it gives you a short setup, take that short setup, if you respect the strategy, and if you have no bias, meaning if you see a confirmation to the downside, and the market is also moving down, then take that play to the downside with confidence. If you're going to get stopped out, you're going to get stopped out regardless, right? If this was to cross over here or here, you're going to get stopped out. It is what it is. That's just the name of the game. But if you come into the market thinking, okay, first 30 minutes of the market, first hour of the market, we flushed. Let me go ahead and buy a call here because I think we're coming back higher. Well, look at what just happened to you the rest of the day, okay? Just moral of the story, guys, do not think allow this strategy to work for you and use it to your advantage. I hope that helps. Hope you guys all enjoy the holiday weekend and I'll see you guys all next week.